All right, yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So this story takes place back when I was in high school. And funny enough, this is when the pandemic was happening. Basically, if you guys don't know what the pandemic is, it's basically when COVID was happening and everyone was freaking out, thinking that everyone was gonna die. And well, it just sucked. I remember getting the email that I wasn't allowed to go to school anymore. And basically, we have to do everything online through Zoom, which don't get me wrong, I don't like Zoom whatsoever. If you guys don't know what Zoom is, Zoom is basically like a platform where you can like talk to people and stuff. It's kind of like Discord, but more garbage and for old people i don't know my opinion just use discord i don't know why like we can't just do everything through discord you know what they should just put me in the school system i would do everything so much better sorry going on i remember when i first got that email basically my teacher was saying how we have to go into zoom and i remember i was pretty well annoyed with it because knowing that the same place where i get to stay at home and play games and do everything that i enjoy ends up being for school obviously when my parents heard about it they were very happy that i get to use my computer system for something other than video games which don't get me wrong i mean it's not the best bad thing but at the same time it is pretty bad because i'd rather actually go to school and hang out with people and have friends than stay at home all day and well do the same thing over and over again i remember when my friends told me that we were doing everything online as well they really hated it they really did not like it and i remember some girls in my school hated it even more because the girls were planning an event for the school but sadly they had to cancel it because of what was going on with the pandemic anyways going on to zoom classes it was not that hard the teacher would send you a link and we just basically joined the class at the time that we we're supposed to be there kind of like real life classes but the thing that sucked about it was that when we sat in the classroom, honestly, so many people had their cameras on and being at home when you're technically at school as well is the most awkward thing ever. Like no joke, if you guys had to sit in a Zoom classroom with your camera on at home, it's so awkward because anything could happen. Like for example, I remember one kid, he ended up having his mom walk downstairs without wearing a t-shirt at all. So she's just wearing a full on bra with her cherries out basically telling her kid to basically put the dishes away when he was literally in the kitchen doing his class i don't know it was just super awkward and i remember it became even worse later on because one time there was a girl in my math class that we were doing online and she was really really awkward half of the time she would never turn on her camera or even mid class she would end up turning off her camera me and the other students we didn't know what she was doing and we didn't really care and i remember one of my friends messaged me saying yo bro she's sending me photos wink wink and i looked at him in zoom class and i'm like seriously with my mouth kind of like you know making that expression he was laughing the whole entire time but me i knew something was up so i remember i ended up going on instagram and actually finding the girl that he was apparently getting photos from and followed her as well when i followed her it didn't take her long to follow me back on instagram and actually hit me up right away i don't know i guess i just have that magic look by the way follow me on instagram i think you guys might end up doing the same going on though she ended up messaging me saying hey like are you in my class as well and i ended up saying yeah you know i'm in your class just chilling and then she ended up trying to do small talk to make it seem like everything was normal even though i knew what she was doing and then out of nowhere i remember the teacher when we were in the middle of class ends up saying oh uh, ma'am can you turn your camera please we're in the middle of class right now i need to make sure you're paying attention i remember this girl starts freaking out she's like oh 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 yeah like right now you can just hear her like kind of like muffling through clothing and putting on clothes i guess and she ended up turning on her camera sitting down on her bed like nothing was happening i remember me and my buddy were laughing because we knew what she was doing but i guess most of the other classmates didn't really know what was going on but then this is where things get really actually funny and awkward i remember a couple days go by and me and this girl start straight up flirting and adding each other on snapchat basically flirting with each other over and over again funny enough the girl ended up dropping my homie that was in the class with me that he originally send photos to but i mean it's whatever because i guess i'm better and then afterwards she ends up sending me photos in the middle of class after seven days later with literally flirting with this girl it was the funniest thing ever and i remember i basically started laughing my heart out thinking this was hilarious literally in the middle of class i even remember her turning off her camera midway through classroom and ended up sending me cherry photos and well basically seeing everything now not everyone got this benefit but honestly it was kind of funny because i would always get bricked up in the middle of class and i would want to you know turn off my camera but god knows i'm not gonna beat it in the middle of zoom class i've done that once and i regretted it but that's a story for another time anyways going on i remember this girl in the middle of class texted me hey like do you want to play like truth or dare and i ended up saying sure and obviously us being class well it made things really frisky for example she dared me to literally turn on my camera and throw a banana at my wall as hard as i could with the mic unmuted so knowing that the teacher literally heard me smack a banana towards my wall was the funniest thing ever and i mean an actual banana i don't mean my eggplant and then on top of that i remember I dared her to turn on her camera and yell, oh, Bubba, you're so hot. And she literally ended up doing it. I remember when my teacher heard it, he ended up looking through the entire Zoom class because there was like 30 of us in there trying to figure out who did that. And it was the funniest thing ever because he couldn't find out who it was. Well, he thought he did, but he ended up kicking a random girl student that I guess always started trouble. I don't know. There's always one girl in our classroom that always starts trouble. I can't be the only one that had this. And then here's where things got really, really funny as well. I remember she ends up sending me one more text. She ends up saying, truth or dare. And I end up saying, 
truth. And then afterwards, she says, you want to see me wear absolutely nothing on? I said, sure. I said, why not? Because, you know, you're not losing there. And this is where things are really funny because I remember the teacher ends up seeing her with her camera off and he ends up instantly going straight to her camera, full screening it on screen share saying, oh, uh, can you please come back to class? Where are you? Are you there, ma'am? She ends up turning on her camera and she basically says, oh yeah, like I'm here. Sorry, I got a little distracted. My camera turned off. My bad. I started laughing. I knew what was happening. And my buddy in the class knew that I was still talking to this girl. So he was laughing as well. It was like a cycle all over again. But then I remember she ends up texting me. Okay, bet. I'm gonna give it to you. As she's looking down and I can literally see her camera messaging me that. And then this girl decided to do the literally insane thing and literally stood up, took off everything, thinking she turned off her camera still. And out of nowhere, she just straight up flashes the entire Zoom class with her whole entire body, takes a selfie with nothing on, and she sends it to me while everyone in the class was commenting on the side in the little chat box that Zoom has saying, OMG, is she not wearing anything? Oh my God, dude, no way. Dude, I just got bricked. Like everyone was talking about it. It got super awkward. And I remember my teacher ended up seeing it halfway through a sentence and started freaking out. He was like, oh, your camera's on, your camera's on, your camera's on. You can't be doing that in the classroom. You gotta stop right there, ma'am. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Like he was freaking out and freaking out badly. Knowing that there was a girl literally in our classroom with her camera on, literally sending me a full-on photo of her wearing nothing was insane. I remember all my friends were freaking out and literally I was freaking out and my buddy was straight up laughing and he ended up typing in the chat. Oh, I remember seeing that a week ago. It was the funniest thing ever and I remember basically this girl, she ends up seeing that the camera was on because I texted her, everyone can see you on Snapchat and when she opens my snap, she saw that and panicked. I remember she literally ran straight to her computer and legit left the Zoom class as if nothing happened. I remember the whole class was just sitting there kind of just like freaked out and like weirded out of just what just happened. And I remember my teacher said, well, does anyone else want to flash the classroom? Everyone started laughing and things got worse and worse. And it got to the point where I'm not going to lie. I started laughing even more. This whole thing was a laugh fest. And then I remember this girl ends up messaging me saying, OMG, I can't believe you made me do that. Like, I can't believe you dared me to do that. How could you? What? I was still on truth. I didn't even dare you to do that is what I told her afterwards. But she was just so upset and so mad that she ended up blocking me on snapchat and basically unadded me on every social media which i mean i can't blame her but at the same time i can understand her pain and see how awkward that would be so i remember i basically just messaged her i'm sorry because you know it was her fault anyway and basically just went on with my day i remember the next day in our zoom class we were all basically just sitting there kind of just talking things out and just hanging out and it was so funny because when the girl that you know flashed the entire classroom on zoom basically like joined in i remember one of the guys was saying yo can you flash the class again that was kind of hot literally in the chat and my teacher had to kick him out. It was honestly crazy. Okay, so I like cherries more than the next guy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But one thing I will say is that a pair of cherries that belong to a teacher, well, I don't wanna see that. Actually, unless the teacher's hot, then I'll look at it. But going on though, today's story does get really intense and honestly, something that you guys maybe don't wanna hear. So I suggest you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel just so you guys get more embarrassing stories just like this one. If you enjoy it, of course. And also subscribing is totally free. So I suggest you do it anyway but other than that let's just get straight into this embarrassing story yo what is going on you guys my name's bubba and welcome back to a really embarrassing video so today's story takes place back when i was in high school and this was my grade 10 year now in grade 10 i'm not gonna lie to you i was already known for doing the devil's tango and was already active doing the devil's tango but one thing that i did not know about was well devil's ed and if you guys don't know what devil's ed is basically it's like you know the teaching of safe devil's tango and basically like teaching human anatomy to a different scale and if you guys haven't been taught this yet well i was taught this in grade 10 so i know a lot of you guys are maybe in middle school or you know just entering high school but i got taught this in grade 10 i don't know when you guys get taught it but i guess comment it down below when you guys got taught about this but going on from there i remember basically in my grade 10 year it was around november and in november i remember they were teaching people in my grade about the devil's ed. I really don't like the name devil's ed. It sounds super cringe and super weird. So if you guys have a better name for it, just comment it down below, I guess. But going on from there, I remember at my grade 10 year, I remember I was talking to a bunch of my friends about, you know, how we're going to have this course and how it's super embarrassing to take it. Because let's be real here. How many people want to sit down and watch videos about cherries, peaches, and all that stuff when we have the devil's hub to watch it on? Am I, am I, am I right? Am I, I'm, I'm alone. Anyways, going on though. So as I was explaining that to my friends, my friends were just saying, oh, like, bro, did you see who's teaching it this year? And they told me it was a teacher that had a cherry job. Now, if you guys don't know what a cherry job is, basically a cherry job is when a woman 
changes her cherries to a bigger level i guess by the way real quick youtube before you think about demonetizing this video realize that this is all for educational purposes and embarrassing moment purposes and my sadness purposes and please i love my job don't demonetize me i remember when my friends told me that we had a different type of teacher that had a cherry job i didn't believe it but let's be real here we've all talked smack to our teachers and maybe this was just one of those rumors in the school so i remember me thinking it was a total rumor i ended up going to my devil's ed classroom with total confidence total confidence that i wasn't gonna get bricked up that i wasn't gonna get annoyed and that i was just gonna sit there listen to what i gotta listen to and then leave but i remember when i ended up going in that classroom and i sat down on that seat i looked around and i saw that there was actually a decent amount of grade 10s sitting there as well and i remember one kid ended up coming up behind me tapping behind my head saying yo bro you ready to see some big cherries what is what i said and that's when i realized that everyone in the classroom that i was sitting in knew about this girl's cherries or this teacher's cherries which is really weird because i'm not gonna lie i think more people were excited about the cherries than the actual you know course and this is where things get insane because i remember when class started and everything was going on the teacher walks in front of the classroom and i'm not joking when i say this every student and i mean every single one had their eyes directly on the teacher's cherries even the girls in the classroom couldn't stop staring at them now i'm not gonna lie to you as a male you know i do get distracted by cherries very easily and the whole time when this teacher was talking i could not stare at anything else but her cherries like they were like kim kardashian except 10 times bigger it's like Nicki minaj's bum and kim kardashian's cherries just combined it together and just became some giant pair of enormous cherries that's how big they were i'm not gonna lie the whole time during that class i did not know what was going on nor was i paying attention anyways during class i remember the teacher ended up putting like one of those like cringy tv shows about the human anatomy and i remember when the teacher was walking to the corner of the classroom where her desk was right when she sat down i am not joking every person in that class had their head turned towards her that is how weird and cringe it was for all of us to be staring at the corner of the classroom it even got to the point where the teacher ended up raising her hand saying okay class the screen's that way don't look this way i think the teacher was kind of getting to a point where she realized what we were looking at and honestly can she blame us going on i remember all the kids ended up turning their heads and started watching this film and we were watching this really cringy guy basically talk about you know what an erection is and if you don't know what that is then you're probably too young to watch the channel but subscribe until you're of age to you know watch it sorry quick ad but going on and then i remember right after there was a note being passed around the classroom i didn't know what this note was and it didn't come to me yet so i just thought you know it was probably just some dumb thing that they were just passing around and then i remember there was a girl that was sitting behind me ended up tapping my shoulder saying hey like they wanted me to pass this to you and i ended up getting the note opening it and the question on the note was are they natural or not and there was like a, basically a line between the two sides of you know ticking off if they're natural or they're not natural now when i looked at this i was confused of what they were talking about until i saw that in the corner of the note there was a pair of cherries not actual cherries like the fruit like a pair of cherries at this point i was really confused and kind of just awkwarded out because who would just ask that on a note in the classroom so i ended up just quickly looking at this teacher's cherries looking down at the paper and ticking off not natural because i thought they weren't and then my friend that was beside me looked at me saying bro seriously you think they're not and then that's when the teacher stood up the teacher stood up ended up walking towards my desk slammed her hand on my desk and said give me that note right now she ended up picking up the note looking at me as if i was absolutely crazy and then she ended up opening the note realizing that the note was all about her cherries at this point she saw that a lot of kids ended up taking off that they weren't natural instead of actually being natural and that apparently made the teacher really upset like so upset to the point where she ended up standing in front of the classroom yelling you guys really think these aren't natural who do you think you are talking about my cherries it's my body my choice and then one kid in the classroom decided to yell from behind saying oh yeah then prove it and that's when the teacher thinking that it was a good idea decided to absolutely just rip off her shirt and literally show the entire class her pair of cherries she literally flashed the entire classroom of grade 10 students by the way with her pair of cherries was this legal well i mean we were in you know devil's ed classroom so maybe it was maybe it wasn't but at the same time at this point i didn't know what to think and i'm not gonna lie to you i think every kid in that classroom ended up getting brick. Is that weird to say? Well, yes. Am I being honest? Yes. So at this point, I remember everyone started seeing that and it got to a point where one kid actually ended
ended up getting it on video and started posting it on his story basically all over the place. One thing led to another. A lot of people started seeing it in school and everyone was excited for that class thinking that they were going to get the same treatment that we did. And then one thing led to another. The principal's daughter that was also in our school ended up seeing it because she was also in grade 10. And um, yeah, let's just say she was not allowed to teach that class anymore. Okay, so I'm not going to lie to you. I've had my fair share of babysitters. But one thing I will say is that this one specific babysitter, I think was doing the most illegal thing that any babysitter could do. But before we get into the story, please make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And on top of that, I know many times I've said that I would have a girl sitting behind me for one of the story times, but sadly, I can't find a girl that wants to be behind me during a story time or just in general being on camera. Don't get me wrong. I have a ton of girls coming to my place all the time, but none of them are willing to just sit behind a camera and just sit there. I I'm not joking. The conversations I've had was the most weirdest thing ever, but we'll find one eventually. But as we're finding one, if this video hits over 2000 likes, I will shave my beard for the next video. That way there's actually something looking forward to. And on top of that, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I love my beard and I don't want to lose it. But if we get 2000 likes on this video, I will shave it. Other than that, let's just jump straight into this insane story. Yo, what is going on? You guys, my name's Bubba and welcome back to a really intense story. So today's story takes place back when I was 10 years old. And when I was 10 years old, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't like other kids. Yes, I was, you know, goofing around and, you know, basically not having any responsibilities and just only caring about video games like most kids. But one thing I really did not care about was girls. And when I was 10 years old, for some reason, a lot of my friends were into girls, but I just wasn't. I didn't really care about girls at the time. I only cared about Pokemon, Call of Duty, you know, the more important things in life. But then I remember one time when I was in my school, I was sitting down in my classroom, just playing with some blocks, I guess, or just writing something down. I'm not really sure. But I remember one time when I was sitting down in class in my elementary school, I was reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid and my friend came up to me. Now, this friend that came up to me was actually two years older than me, but he was held back and ended up being in the same grade as me because, well, I guess he was just dumb. I, I don't know. I guess he's just stupid naturally. And he ended up coming up to me saying, are you playing the new game this weekend that's coming out? Uh, yeah, duh, is what I told him. And afterwards, we ended up making a plan for him to actually come over and play video games with me. Now, this was nothing new. Him coming over and playing video games with me was actually something that was really cool. And also, since he was older, a lot of kids in my grade actually kind of thought he was cool. I don't know why, because now I realized that he was really stupid, but I don't know. I was a kid. Everything seemed cool back then. Anyways, I remember we basically made a plan for the next day for him to come over and basically have a sleepover with me over the weekend. And his parents were cool with it. And I remember I ended up texting my parents on my iPod and they were also cool with it. Yes, I had an iPod when I was in elementary school, okay? I wasn't rich. It's just my parents wanted me to have some form of communication with them. And also it was an iPod, not a phone, okay? We're not gonna talk about it, but going on with the story. I remember that same day on the way home when my dad picked me up from school, I ended up telling him about the plan of my friend coming over. He was totally cool with it and he did not mind it, but then he also mentioned to me that, oh, Bubba, just a reminder, I'm gonna be going to America this weekend and I'm going to be uh going for a work trip, so I won't be here. And so will your mother will also be coming with me. Wait, if you or mom are not home, then who's gonna take care of me? Oh, don't worry, we'll have a babysitter for you. Now, when he said babysitter, I won't lie to you. Like in the beginning of this video, I've had my fair share of babysitters. And even though people think babysitters are fun, let's just say all the babysitters that I've had had different sorts of fun. And I'm talking about the devil's tango. You know, it wasn't no Nanny McPhee or, you know, Mary Poppins fun, like I wish it was. But I guess this was a different taste of things, I guess. But anyways, what ended up going on next was, well, let's just say very concerning. Because I remember when we got home, I was basically going up to my parents, basically complaining to them saying, why are we getting a babysitter? You know what? The friend that's coming over is older. He could take care of me. But my parents wouldn't budge. They were both very persistent and really wanted me to make sure that I had a babysitter. So me being upset, I ended up going up to my room, really upset and angry, and ended up going there and just sitting and playing Call of Duty. When I was sitting in my room playing Call of Duty with my headphones on, I remember I ended up hearing the doorbell ring. And instead of going downstairs to see who it was, I ended up basically sitting like on the top of the staircase, just waiting to see who it was. And I remember when my mom opened the door, we ended up seeing the babysitter. Now this babysitter was actually like some basic 16 year old girl. She was very nice and very simple. She had like, you know, brunette hair, I guess, or brown hair. I don't really remember to be honest, cause it was so long ago. But one thing I will say is that she was very young and still in high school. And I remember me, when I looked at her, the first thing I thought was, why in the world is this woman taking care of me? Now you guys are probably wondering like, oh, like weren't you attracted to her and stuff? And no, I wasn't. To be honest, I wasn't in the mood or never have been actually, you know, bricked up before back then. Cause if you guys did not know, the first time I actually got bricked up in my entire life was, well, in my middle school dance. And me, I was still in elementary school at this time. But going on with the story, I 
remember basically from there, my parents ended up interviewing her and stuff, and she got hired on the spot. And the reason for that is because my parents were literally leaving the next day, so it makes sense. I'm not gonna lie. And then one thing led to another. She ended up coming up to my room, introducing herself to me, and I just ended up basically like saying, hey, like what's going on? Me acting like the cool kid I was and kept playing Call of Duty. Not even looking at her, nothing, because I could care less. And let's just say what ended up happening the next day was extremely illegal. Because I remember the next day, I ended up going to school and right after school, me and my buddy ended up coming over straight back to my place for, you know, all the fun we were going to have this weekend. And when I entered my house, I remember my buddy looks at me saying, yo, bro, where are your parents? Oh, my parents aren't here. A babysitter's going to be here any minute now. Wait, you have a babysitter? Bro, she's going to ruin all the fun. I know, man. That's what I said, but don't worry about it. Like, I don't think she'll be in the way. Little did I know, she was going to be in the way. Because I remember five minutes after we got home, the babysitter ended up ringing the doorbell and I answered it. When I answered it, she ended up saying hello to me and I didn't care. I just straight up ignored her and ended up going up to my room with my friend and ended up playing video game. But as I was upstairs playing with my friend, I remember my friend looked at me saying, yo, bro, where's the babysitter? Is she here? Yeah, she's just downstairs making me a sandwich or something. I don't know, doing some woman stuff, I guess, in the kitchen. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty based as a kid. I'm not gonna cap with you. But going on, I remember my friend ended up saying, oh, wait, a sandwich? Let's go downstairs. I want a sandwich. I was joking about the sandwich, but clearly he didn't get that joke. And we ended up basically going downstairs to see the babysitter. When we went downstairs, I remember we saw the babysitter in the kitchen just sitting on the counter on her phone. And when we went down the stairs, I remember I ended up basically walking down there saying, yo, what's going on? To the babysitter. And my friend ended up looking at her with his jaw dropped and basically, I don't know, I guess amazed. I'm not going to lie. The last time I had his facial expression of going, I was looking at, you know, Grand Theft Auto's club that's in the game. Uh, can I even say the drip word? I, I don't know. Going on though, I remember basically he was basically aroused and amazed by this babysitter and me, I could care less. And I remember one thing led to another. I basically told her to get up and make me a sandwich and she ended up making me a sandwich. And as we were just sitting down eating our sandwiches, I remember my friend that was two years older than me told me, yo, bro, be nice to the babysitter, man. Like she's kind of hot. Wait, what do you mean? She's hot. She's just a girl, bro, is what I said afterwards. But then he ended up up saying nah dude like you got a hot babysitter bro like i'm not gonna lie like damn me i ended up just basically ignoring him and really couldn't care less about what he said and i ended up basically taking my sandwich upstairs and went back to playing call of duty as for my buddy well he didn't come up with me he ended up actually staying downstairs and talking to the babysitter the whole time now i'm not gonna lie after five minutes i could care less about my friend but after 10 minutes i was actually kind of concerned on why wasn't he coming upstairs wasn't he already bored about the girl like wasn't she boring already she must have been boring him or maybe torturing him or something at least that's what i thought when i was a kid i remember i ended up going downstairs and going to the kitchen and when i went to the kitchen instead of walking in i decided to basically hide behind the counter and basically started listening into their conversation when i was listening i remember my friend was talking about something with like cherries and stuff and basically how he's never seen a pair of cherries and me in my mind i was thinking why would he want to see that like my mom has a pair and it's not even that good that that's really weird i don't, I don't know why i just said that but mom if you're watching this video i apologize I love you. You have beautiful. Never mind. Okay. Oh my god, it's so awkward. Okay, going on though. I remember from there, I ended up basically sitting there really weirded out, and my face was just disgusted. I didn't know what to think or what to say. But then afterwards, I remember the girl that was my babysitter ended up saying, Oh, like, would you like to see? Hell yeah, I would, is what my friend said. And from there, I remember I ended up looking up over the counter to see what was going on. And this girl ended up basically taking off her shirt and her, you know, cover up underwear thingy, bra, I guess we could say. And uh, yeah, basically, my friend ended up looking at a pear cherry that was really weird and also i mean i also got to see it not gonna lie but it was uh i i, I was really uncomfortable because i don't think i was supposed to see it even though i was seeing it but then he was supposed to see it but he was 12 and she was 16 you know it was a whole sorts of illegal i remember from there though i ended up standing up saying what are you doing and uh yeah my friend ended up running up to me saying bro like what are you doing she's a hot babysitter showing her cherries bro why, why are you complaining i don't care about the cherries but my parents are gonna care and and that's when the babysitter ended up walking up to us saying, wait, what do you mean your parents are going to care? Your parents won't find out. Just don't tell them. I'm not going to tell them, but that will. And that's when I pointed at the security camera that was placed in my house to make sure I wasn't causing any havoc to the babysitter. Let's just say my parents ended up coming home a day early from the trip to America that time because I'm in Canada. And uh, yeah, my babysitter got fired and also a really harsh talking to. But hey, I mean, I guess I saw cherries that time, so I wasn't really complaining now, was I? Anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's story. Story. Leave a like, subscribe, and like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.